Good morning and welcome back to Cooking Kosher. Now I know some of you have watched our videos and may be thinking, this stuff is just too complicated for me. I don't know how to cook. How am I supposed to get started? Well, today's episode is the simplest dish in the world that you could possibly make, but it is so tasty and so delicious. Today we're making grilled cheese. Check it out. And this is all you're gonna need for this incredibly simple recipe. As you can see here, I have a couple of challah rolls. These are just leftover from Shabbos. I have a couple of slices of just regular American cheese. You can get fancy and use Munster or cheddar or provolone or anything like that. But again, we're going simple. This is really, really easy to do. And then the third ingredient, butter. Here I have a nice French challah Yisrael butter, but you could use any butter that you like, unsalted. Now you can always get into other ingredients like tomatoes or salt and pepper, fresh basil. You could do lots of different things. But today I'm just showing you a simple recipe that anyone could do so you have no excuses not to cook kosher at home. So some people like grilled cheese with a lot of cheese on it. They like to put three or four slices on one. I tend to be one of those people who likes at least two, but I only had two slices and two challah rolls from Shabbos. So we're just going to do one slice per roll. So basically I brought over a milch cutting board here and I have my challah rolls. Now the bottom of this challah roll, as you could see, is flat but the top is not. A really important part of making grilled cheese is that it's flat and that you could smash it down so that it really gets crispy. So all I'm gonna do is just without wasting too much of this challah, I'm just gonna take off the tiniest little slice just to make it flat. Now you see we have flat here and flat here. Now I'm gonna slice my bread in half. I recommend with this step that you use a good serrated knife. If you use a flat edge knife, it'll squish your bread. But if you use a serrated knife, those teeth will kind of cut into it and it'll give you a really smooth cut, just like that. Okay, so that's one. Let's do our other hollow roll. Make room for yourself on your cutting board. You never want to be cramped and then you cut yourself and you regret it. So just slice off just a little bit of the top here. You could always make this into croutons or you could feed it to your dog. Next thing you see we got our flat sides. We're going to slice it in half. Put your hand on top, slice down, and then I'm going to bring my two sandwiches back on my board and we'll assemble. So easy to do. Take your cheese out of the case and plop it on your sandwich. Now for me this looks wrong because obviously what you should do is you should take your next slice of cheese, rip it into pieces, and fill in these holes with those pieces. Obviously, everyone knows that's what you're supposed to do. And then just cover your sandwich. You see I have the bottom up there. You could just flip it over. And these are ready to put on the grill. Now, most of you make your first big mistake at this point. And what you do is you take this butter, which was just in the fridge and it's cold, and you take your knife and you try and cut it up and you try and smear it on this bread. Notice the use of the word schmear. Very important word in grilled cheese. You must schmear. Once you try and do that, you end up ripping up the bread and don't get the butter spread evenly. Let me show you what I do. You'll be changed forever. Your life will be altered forever and you'll never have the life that you used to have before you had that other life. Let's get out our grill. So the next step is you have to preheat your pan. Actually, you probably should have done that before you prepped your grilled cheese so that when it was ready, you could just put it straight on the pan. If you forgot, then like me, you'll do it now. I have a little burner here on the stovetop and I have my large cast iron griddle pan. You could use any pan you want, but I strongly suggest you use a heavy pan because that's the way you're gonna get the best sear. Then we're gonna put on our fire. Put your fire on to kind of like a medium. Give it time to get hot. The biggest mistake you can make with grilled cheese is you put it on before the pan's hot and you end up getting something that's kind of like boiled. It's really not seared and crusty on the outside. That's the key to grilled cheese. So give this time to get hot before you put on your butter. Now that I've given my pan about four or five minutes to heat up, it should be ready to go. I have a big chunk of butter here. Now you may think, whoa, that's a lot of butter. Can I use olive oil instead? Well. No, you can't, because then it won't taste like grilled cheese. And grilled cheese only has three ingredients, so it's like saying, can I make grilled cheese without cheese? So, take your butter, and if you want to see how hot your pan is, just touch it to the pan. See that? You get a little sizzle? Not hot enough. Okay, now another minute has gone by, and I think our pan is ready to go. You see I made two dots here? That's because I have the plan to make two circles 
about the size of our sandwiches. Do not butter your sandwich. Butter your grill. Your sandwich is gonna get totally evenly buttered on all of the surfaces. And that's what's gonna give it that amazing crust and that amazing flavor. Now you see we have extra butter here. I don't mind, because that's a big part of the flavor here. Now we got our sandwiches. I recommend you put it on the cut side first so you can get a nice crisp there. Just put it down. Now we're gonna get comments in the comments below. Oh, your hands are dirty. You just went to the bathroom and you didn't wash your hands and you were doing yard work and you did the soil and you ripped up some weeds. I did not. I washed my hands right before I touched this. My hands are clean. Now this may seem like a lot of pressing down, but that's actually one of the keys to grilled cheese. You could use a spatula or you could use like a cast iron press. Don't flip it too soon. Some people are so excited to touch their stuff and flip it and don't move it. Just let it get that crust. You see how hard I'm pressing. I'm almost pressing as hard as I possibly can. I'm going back to the hand. And you're gonna fry these for about maybe three or four minutes on each side. But this first side is called the presentation side. This one is the one that you wanna pay the most attention to. You see how these hollow rolls are starting to look like not hollow rolls anymore. They're starting to look like a sandwich. And this is, like I said, a really quick and easy lunch or a brunch. It's better than eating out. You know, they did a recent study that showed how you know if something's healthy. And the first most important factor in determining if foods were healthy were if they were homemade. So even if you're making homemade things that maybe don't have the healthiest ingredients, just making them at home and cooking yourself really does a lot for you and your family. So don't be shy to give it a try. Hey, that rhymes. Follow along, cook real time with us, and your results should be the same. And if they're not, make sure you let us know in the comments below. Okay, we're about a minute away from flipping here. You may ask me, David, Mr. Cook and Kosher Man, how do you know we're about a minute away from flipping here? I'll tell you, I don't know, I just think so. Follow your gut. If your gut tells you it's time to flip, then wait three more minutes before you flip. This feels good, you should smell it a little bit. You should maybe, if you had put two pieces of cheese, unlike me, you maybe will see the cheese oozing out the sides a little bit, but I think we're ready to flip. Let's start with the close one. That is a thing of beauty. Looks almost like French toast. Now you could re-butter the other side, but with cast iron, there should be plenty of butter on the griddle just to use up that butter. You could slide it around a little bit for the other side. The other side was the bottom of the hollow roll, so it already has a bit of a crust on it. Really crusty. Let's flip the other one. Ooh, that's hot. We are getting an amazing crust. This is called golden brown, and that's exactly what you want. Then you start pressing down on the other side. Be careful, because your spatula is now officially hot. This is where a cast iron press would really come in handy, but if you don't have one, you could improvise. You see our back grilled cheese is a little bit more puffy than our front one? That's probably because I don't have as much leverage back there as I do up here. Try and give it some attention. Maybe even switch them. Okay, let's give it another minute or two on this side and we're done. Almost ready to eat. You may ask me why I'm making grilled cheese that's round. Every grilled cheese you've ever seen is a triangle, right? Or a square that's cut into triangles. I use it because I like to use these challah rolls and challah rolls are usually round. They have a really sweet flavor to them. And so for me, they are a big part of the success of this sandwich. You see that? That is the sign that your grilled cheese is ready. See when it starts coming out the bottom like that? It's telling us, I'm ready, I'm ready, take me off. And so what I do at that point is I shut the fire. Get our plate ready. Let's take them off. Let's eat. So there you have it. Our delicious grilled cheese. You can see it here. It looks so good. It smells really good too. And we have our drink. We're having ojwa, which is orange juice with water. I try not to give my kids a juice that's too sweet. So I guess I've gotten used to it as well. Let's dig in and give this thing a taste. Oh, I forgot. I gotta wash. Be right back. Baruch atah Adonai Elohim melech haolam hamotzi lechem min haaretz. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Take a quick drink. And with something like grilled cheese, it's always nice to have something with a little bit of crunch. Here I got a nice half sour pickle. Awesome. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Cooking Kosher, where today we made grilled cheese. It's so easy to do. It's so tasty. You could do it anytime and you could do it yourself at home. Please give this one a try. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for many more videos like these. Like this video. Give us a comment below to let us know what you want us to teach you how to cook next. And uh, we'll see you next time.